Hello everyone and welcome to a new IK video. This is Ken from 49 and in this video guys I want to bring up some discussions that I was in the middle a few days ago which is about artifacts. Uh, a lot of people were asking and were discussing whether uh, which is better a normal fully developed artifact or a non-developed exclusive artifact. And I actually couldn't answer the question back at the time because it depends on a lot of things, to be honest. Uh, for example, uh, it depends on the immortal itself. For example, there is Alex here. And I've tried all sorts of artifacts on Alex before I unlock his exclusive artifact. And the first artifact that I unlocked with him for him was a very bad artifact. It was It has a magical defense on it and it didn't even have secondary uh, special attribute either rabid or iron fist so i was using my atella's artifact the one i used back in the day for atella which is this artifact it is a very strong artifact it has rabid it has physical defense attack and it was fully developed as well back at the time and i started to compare the two artifacts and i found out that the exclusive artifact, no matter how bad is it, will always be better for an immortal such as Alex, because his artifacts is just insane. It is so broken. It is one of the, if it's not the best, it is basically the best artifact that you can get for an immortal, because it turns his entire skill into a passive. I know it nerfs his stats a bit from 50% down to 35 even still, is still insane with his own artifact. Uh, because it is working during the entire fight. He doesn't need energy to regain. And he's immune the entire time. He doesn't get controlled. He doesn't get stunned, CC'd, etc. And as for Hannibal, it is the same thing. A fully developed normal artifact will not be as good as a bad exclusive artifact for him. Even though it was... It had a magical defense for him. However, it could be different for some other immortals, such as uh, maybe Dedo, uh, immortals that deals lots of damage and their artifacts doesn't necessarily increase or provides enough buffs for their ultimate skills, maybe such as Empress Wu here, or an artifact for maybe Charles or even Gilgamesh. And I'll explain why. So for an immortal such as Dedo, her artifacts provides additional resilience rate. Uh, basically it increases the resilience rate for the immortals that are being affected by her child by 10%. 10% resilience rate is a decent amount, but uh, it doesn't necessarily work against all the teams that you're gonna fight against. Basically this buff here would only be uh, useful against marches such as Shadow. Or uh, fire marches that uh, that counts a lot on critical damage, and most of the time these kind of marches are using weakness aura on it. This is why uh, Dido's artifact will not be useful like all the fights. It's just few fights, and that's it. It, it will not be useful against holy because 90% of the holy users are not counting on crit or using the critical talent. Or not even using weakness. It will not be useful against earth marches. Lightning marches. Wind marches. Because it's the same case as holy. These are all physical teams. And it doesn't necessarily count. On critical damage. Uh, well I, I. I think it could have been more useful. If Dido's artifact. Could have provided the same amount of physical defense. To the magical defense as well. For example it provides here. Uh, a certain a 2000 percent of the target's level as uh, physical defense it's called the first armor so with her artifact maybe it should have provided magical defense too to the immortals uh, that is receiving the buff so with her artifact the buff could have been 2000 percent of the target's level physical defense and magical defense i believe this could have been a lot Better for the water march as a whole and not just the resilience raid that you get from the buff itself. Uh, I assume it 
it would be the same for Empress Wu. Empress Wu is entirely a DBS immortal. It is the most powerful mage in the game, in my opinion. Uh, when it comes to damage. And she needs a lot of critical rate and a secondary attribute which is Annihilation to give the best out of her abilities that you're using and the skill that using, which is the Imperial Fire. Her ultimate, uh, I mean her exclusive artifacts provides additional 10% to proc the 3 times attack. Her skill inflicts a lot of magical damage up to 600%. To one random enemy and it has a 60% chance to cause equal damage to another nearby random enemy on it up to three times. So it has 60% chance to bounce. With her artifacts this chance here becomes 70%. Let's check this out here. This is the port. The Nurpai targets, uh, the damage deal to Nurpai targets is increased to 70%. Well, 10% is not that much of a chance. It does make a difference in fights. However, if you don't have this artifact fully developed, then I recommend to use a fully developed normal artifact that provides critical rate. And if you have a better stats down there, it should have, it should be better, of course, and it should be annihilation. Since the damage she deals is mostly critical damage, so the more the more critical damage increase that you have either from the dragon, or the artifact, or the buff that she's receiving from William with his exclusive artifact should be better. And uh, for William, I think an immortal such as William, uh, using his own artifact could be way better than using a normal fully developed artifact even if his artifact is not fully developed because his artifact provides a huge boost to an immortal such as Empress Wu. Uh, let's take a look at his artifact here. It is called the Doomsday Book. So William's buff usually increases all the immortals critical rate by 20%. Using his artifact burning the sky and burning Fire increases crit rate of all troops while increasing their critical attack by 35%. This is a huge buff for an immortal such as Empress Wu. And using this artifact for William will not change anything for the immortal itself because William is not a damage dealer unless you use a lot of DBS skills on him. This is why I always prefer using William as a support immortal for Empress Wu. This is why I'm, I'm not using any kind of DBS skills on my William. I don't have his artifact for now, but I'm planning to get the artifact. It has been a very long time since we got an event that provides William's artifact anyway. Uh, well, there are a lot of other artifacts that could be way better than normal artifacts, which is an immortal such as Ken Emperor and Zenobia as well. However, I want to talk on each and every artifact exclusive artifact for each and every immortal which is better either the fully developed normal artifact or the exclusive artifact that is not developed at all because we all know how hard it is to develop an exclusive artifact however this will be all for this video i'm gonna make more videos about exclusive artifacts in the future so stay tuned make sure to subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day